Are you taking my picture? I'm, I'm, video, I'm videoing your speech. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Am I going to give me my 15 minutes of fame? On Facebook. Right. Yeah, you'll be on Facebook. <laughs> She's my next door neighbor. And uh -oh. YouTube. So everybody is okay with the roughness? Oh, yeah. No problem no there? Problem. No, no problem. bad backs, Rough bad necks, bad attitudes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got one, but it will be all right. Come right up with me then. Okay. <laughs> YouTube, here we go. YouTube. All right, we're on our way. All right, She's nice. She at least one. Here we're at. They're probably right in that barrel. They get to be about 20 pounds each. They'll probably be out on the way back. We've seen all that. They live to be about 45 years old. Where to go? They are known to be the acrobats of the jungle. And hide and seek. And they are, in fact, apes, not monkeys. And how do I know that? Because monkeys have tails. Apes don't. They may be back out. Greg, is that monkey that's missing? <laughs> My mom always called me by the wrong name. She always called me monkey. <laughs> There's one missing in Atlanta, you know. <laughs> Let's see. In this cage, we're supposed to have one of our three Kodiak bears. We have three that range in weight here from 1,100 to almost 1,400 pounds. Ooh. They can double that weight in the wild. He's firing that barrel back. I didn't see him out last time either. I don't know what to do with it. He's probably hiding. Too hot for him, too. They got scent. <laughs> they come to us from this. There he is, right behind that tree. I don't know if y'all can see him yet. Oh, there she is. Right, oh. right back at that cement thing yeah, right now. To me. I don't, I don't know where he is. Oh, you. He might come out this side over here. Yeah, you can see him a little bit right there. Right behind that bush, under that tree. They are the second largest bear, only yeah, the yeah. fourth bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't let their size fool you. They have some clubs that over 40 miles an hour. The big old boy. Come on down further, let me come back. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> You got your seatbelt on? <laughs> now, since we've had bad weather and been shut down early a couple of days, I do offer free foot massages. Oh, right. really? Wow, that's good, and man. this is the first of four. Oh, we got to give them the road right away. I'm coming, Mom. <laughs> Next time you ought to be bring a recorder to, so you can record my speech. Got it. Oh, Camera. cool. Oh. This is one of our four free foot massages. <laughs> Not really, I'm just teasing you. That's what's called a cattle guard bridge. You got one in the home. It keep our animals in. Foot massages. Oh, yeah. It's made out of round stock, space far enough in between that when the animals try to stand on it, they can't get real sure footed. So, and yeah, this is like behind the house, right? They don't like that either. So they themselves choose not to cross it. Now, through our tour, we do have quite a few bald cypress trees. Some of them are as much as 500 years old. Up here to the left, in our corral, we have, from India, the world's smallest cattle. They are miniature zebra cattle. They're bred down in India to pull small oh, carts and plow fields. We have a male oh and a female, a bull and a cow. Our male's name is Warlord, and our female's name is Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep. Hey, Little Bo Peep. Now, they do grow, grow to be anywhere between 42 and 48 inches in height from the ground they got to the home, eh? their shoulders. They are very social animals, mm -hmm. and they live to be about 20 years old. Now in through here is what we used to call the tunnel. And the reason for that is we used to be so overgrown with trees in here, we 
had such a tight canopy that you actually had to have your headlights on to go through this little area here. Sure. Since then, two hurricanes back to back came through, Jean and Francis, and took out over 280 some odd trees. Now they have told us that it's going to be at least 100 years, maybe even a little longer, before it gets back to the way it was.